Hi, my name is Michaela. Welcome back to my channel, Major Sweet Tooth. Thank you for watching my last video and subscribing. I got a lot of great reviews from when I made brownies. Again, this my channel will be focusing on making my own recipes and improving other recipes. So today I will be making chocolate chip cookies. Today's ingredients, you will need one cup of brown sugar, one cup of regular sugar, a stick and a half of unsalted butter, one cup of regular flour, one cup of bread flour, a half teaspoon of baking powder, and a half teaspoon of baking soda, one egg yolk, and one egg, and as many chocolate chips as you want, because there's nothing wrong with more chocolate. So first you want to preheat your oven to 350. I have my bread flour and my white flour here, so I'm going to sift both of them into a small bowl. Okay, so now that I sifted my, my flour, I'm going to measure out a half teaspoon of baking powder. So now I'm just going to sift this. And next, I'm going to measure out a half teaspoon of baking powder. I mean baking soda. Now I'm going to put the dry ingredients off to the side, and I'm going to start with the wet ingredients. So you are going to need your brown sugar I prefer brown sugar much much more than um, light brown sugar because brown sugar has more molasses and it makes your cookies more chewier. And now we're going to add in our white sugar. So now we're going to place the butter in the microwave for about 15 seconds. So now while we're waiting for the butter, we're going to add in our eggs. So one egg and an egg yolk. So now that our butter is softened, we're going to put it in the bowl. Okay, got messy. Now you want to take your hand mixer and you want to mix all of your wet ingredients together. The ingredients are mixed together. Okay, so this is what it should look like after you've been mixing it with the hand mixer. Now you are going to start adding your dry ingredients to the wet ingredients. So just add in a little at a time and then you can fold it in. So this is um, a chocolate chip recipe that I perfected a while ago, and I have gotten really good reviews from people that have tried it. So, so now I'm going to use the Ghirardelli semi-sweet chocolate chips that I used for the brownies in the last video. So I'm just going to add in as much as I want, because I love chocolate. So now I'm just going to mix that in. So it can all get mixed in evenly with the batter. Now I'm going to put my cookie dough on a parchment lined baking sheet. Bam. Now 
what you want to do is take your cookie dough, which should look like this, yeah, and you want to roll them into medium-sized balls. So it should look like this. Okay. So now you want to spread them out evenly. And if you have any leftover cookie dough that you have left over after making these cookies, then you could freeze them for up to a month, and it'll still be good. So whenever you have your cookie cravings, turn to these cookies. But I'm going to do two rows of um, the chocolate chip cookies because these will expand pretty big. So I'm going to put them in there for maybe for about... Let me say about 20 minutes, but I also like to check them um, because I prefer soft cookies. So the I take my cookies out when they look pale, but it it will harden up after you take them out of the oven and let them cool. I don't like hard cookies, so I take them out a little bit sooner than usual. So now I'm gonna put these in the oven. Okay, so um, what I was talking about before was. If you don't want to make a whole batch of cookies, you can freeze them. So what I like to do is roll them into balls on a baking pan, and then afterwards, you have to let them harden for about an hour. And then after that, you can put them in Ziploc bags, and throughout the week, you can, you can bake, like, um, a couple. So that's the way I like to do it when I have leftover cookie, cookie dough, and I don't want to make the whole batch. Okay, so now I'm going to roll them into medium-sized balls like I did with the other batch. What you want to do is put them in the freezer for about an hour and then put them in Ziploc bags when, you're, when it's done. Now that the cookies are done, I'm going to take them out of the oven. So, this is what a, your, cookie should, your cookie should look like when they are out of the oven. So now you want to let these cool for about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, so now that the, the cookies are cooled, I'm going to try it. So it's really soft, which is good, and they're really gooey because chocolate chips. It's good. Good. Okay. Thanks for watching my channel, Major Sweet Tooth. Make sure to stay tuned to see my other videos. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. And shout out to Belle and Gabby. Bye.